the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, available from dropboxin30minutes.com. And today I'm going to talk about how to link files in your Dropbox account or folders using the Dropbox website. And you can send these links via email or put it on Facebook or uh, in some, via some other method, but it's pretty easy to do. First, find the Dropbox icon. On a Mac it'll be up here on the top, PC it'll be down on the bottom. Click on it and choose Launch Dropbox Website. So that will bring up Dropbox.com. If you're already logged in, it will take you directly to your home screen, which shows all your all of your folders. And then linking is pretty simple. Um, let's take this first file I have here. It's a PDF. It's for my kid's school. That's for a flu uh, vaccination. So uh, basically, if you hover over it and then go all the way to the right, you'll see a little link. It looks like a chain. And then above it, it says Share Link. So if you click on that, it will open up the PDF in Dropbox or uh, show you the uh, you know, preview of it and then it will say give you a little form where you can just type in an email address so let's say that I wanted to email a copy of the link to myself all I do is just type in my my father on it okay let's do him and then you can type a little message here's the flu form what do you think Oops. and then uh, you would send it and it would go to them the other thing you can do is you can create a link that you can paste into any application you want. So to do that, just do share. The pop-up will appear again, but we're not going to fill in any email here. I'm just going to do copy link to this page. You'll see a little message. It says link copy to clipboard. That means that the link is stored in your paste memory. And if you bring up a text file, you can see what it looks like. So here's a new text file. Here's the link that I just copied. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's small, but I'll, I'll blow it up. It's a pretty long link, but it goes to the it goes to the form, and basically I can send that. Uh, I can copy. I can uh, paste it into any application I want if I want to share it with other people. Of course, if you're uh, copying uh, folders or files in Dropbox, you don't want to be sharing sensitive information around because that link can be shared with anybody else. So usually I keep it to harmless forms or photographs or things like that. Uh, which and I try to keep it in a restricted audience via email or via Facebook or something like that. But if you put it out on Twitter or put it out on the internet, remember that link will be available for anybody to see. So you don't want to have anything that's too sensitive there. So this is Ian Lamont, author of DropboxIn30Minutes.com, available on the DropboxIn30Minutes.com website or from Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, iTunes, Kobo, and various other places. Uh, it's a great book with lots of tips on how to use Dropbox, and the website also has lots of videos. So hope to see you soon. Thanks again.